time table. Ma'am, I made my notes on time. Ma'am, I went through all the classes. I attended tuition. But still, I am not able to score good marks. Where am I going wrong? How many of you actually have this thought in your mind right now? You can tell me, right? Take a minute. You can tell me how many of you feel this way. That you're doing everything possible. You're doing everything that your teachers are telling you. But for some reason, you are not able to get marks. And that's really demotivating you. Well, first and foremost, please don't get demotivated. Because it's not that you guys are not putting in the effort. Your effort is there and it will reflect in your marks very soon. As long as you add one more step to your study plan. And that is to read your NCRT textbook. Now, effective reading is very, very important to attain conceptual clarity, which is why in this video, I will be telling you how you can read your NCRT textbooks effectively. My name is Aishwarya and I welcome you to Baiju's 9th and 10th grade channel. Now, as students, there are some silly mistakes that we tend to do, right? So, first and foremost, there are some students out there who make a timetable, but what happens is that they don't dedicate a certain amount of time to do NCRT reading. Now, in 9th and 10th grade, NCRT reading becomes a very important step because questions, whether they are direct, indirect, application based, they will all be based off the NCRT textbook. So, you have to make sure that you dedicate time in your timetable for NCRT reading. That's one of the silly mistakes we do as students. Secondly, make sure one thing that most students do, and I'm sure that a lot of you out there do this, right? is that you will have your textbook and you will have your notebook open simultaneously and as you are reading your textbook, you will be making notes. Now, we may think that we're doing a smart work, you know, by making sure that, you know, we are not wasting too much of time. But what really happens is that you're not focusing on reading, right? You're more focused on making notes out of it, which is why first you should do reading and then you need to make notes. And last but not the least, one silly mistake some students do out there is that they will dedicate time to read, okay? But they also tend to get distracted and they will not be focused while reading. The mind wanders off or suddenly there's a ping in the phone and you want to check what message is there. Then you keep having distractions around you. And when in a distracted environment, you're trying to do NCRT reading, it will be difficult. Which is why what I'm going to do today is to tell you some very simple, easy ways in which you can make sure that you do effective NCRT reading. And I'm not just going to show you by telling you some points, but I'm actually going to show it to you in the textbook. So this right here is a small snip from your NCRT textbook from the chapter Light Processes. So let me just zoom this out a little more so that you can see a little more clearly. So now, of course, this particular part talks about respiration, right? Now here, when you are reading, the first thing that you need to keep in mind when you are reading is that first and foremost, you should not focus on understanding the concepts in detail. Your step number one that is going to be there is to just read. Forget anything else, right? Not that you should spend one hour reading, 45 minutes reading. No, just read for 5-10 minutes. You know the advice that we give you before your examination, right? Before your exam, make sure that you read all the questions once. Don't go for solving it. Just read. That's what you need to apply right here. Just go through the chapter. Don't forget about notes. Forget about how important it's for code exam. Which topic is most important. Forget everything. Just read it from start to beginning. We have discussed nutrition in organisms in the last section. The food material taken in during the process of nutrition is used in the cells to provide energy for various life processes. That's how I expect you to read it. Just go through. Because once you go through the whole chapter, you will realize a basic understanding of what is there in the chapter. And then you will move on to the second step, which is in-depth reading. Now, in-depth reading is very, very important because that's when you go word by word. You focus on every word that is there. Diverse organisms do this in different ways. Some use oxygen to break down glucose completely and give us carbon dioxide and water. And some use other pathways. So now you are going word by word. Now, a few things to keep in mind. Make sure that when you are doing in-depth reading, you read it out loud and you don't read it in your mind. Now, this actually makes a very big difference because when you're reading it out loud, you actually tend to understand it a little more than when you're reading in your mind because your mind can wander off. But now that you are reading it out loud, you have to pay focus. You have to focus on what is what you have to say, right? Which is why that really helps you. 
and secondly please make sure you are underlining the important pointers so that you have done one very important job that is to make sure that all the important pointers are underlined and marked in your textbook now there will be parts that you have not understood right conceptually you have not understood highlight the parts okay you can use any way maybe sometimes what i tend to use is like use hashtag or you can use a star mark mark those points as things that you have not understood and that is where you require conceptual clarity yes so how can you as students do effective reading yes so step number one is to read the whole chapter and skim through it right and then make sure that after you skim through the whole lesson you read it word by word this step is very important and then make sure that you read it out loud yes and once you have done that make sure you mark the important pointers and whatever you have not understood please make sure that you get your concepts clarified and you highlight it in your textbook as well now when some additional tips that i will give you is that you can use pencils you can use highlighters but see again use usage of highlighters can make it very difficult to read so i would always recommend using pencils to underline right and always another thing that i would suggest is that you use post its also rather than directly writing it on your textbook use post its and fold it and keep it so that it's easy in case if you want to write some added notes in your textbook now talking about that when it comes to effective reading a few things to keep in mind and these are some bonus tips you could say first and foremost make sure you have the cbse syllabus printed and kept in your room many students three days four days before board exam will come and ask me ma'am what is syllabus i don't if you are watching this video i don't want you to be one of them so make sure that your syllabus is printed and kept inside your room secondly make sure that you either have the rationalized textbooks or if you have your own ncrt textbooks make sure that whatever is deleted is marked in the textbook later you should not get confused oh ma'am is this portion deleted is this portion not deleted no confusions as such right and secondly make your timetables now when it comes to timetables you now know that you need to add a slot for ncrt reading very very important and then after that make sure that once your reading is effectively done you proceed to note making right so i would recommend this now it's not like reading should be one hour reading should be you know two hours reading could be as simple as even 15 minutes to 30 minutes right and from that you can combine your note making for the second half an hour right overall reading plus note making you can and maybe you will be able to finish it off for one hour but this, this depends from subject to subject so i will not really give out i'll not put a time label on it and it also differs from student to student also so there might be some subjects that i might do fast there might be some which i will do slow so again make a timetable which works for you and if you need any guidance you know that kriti ma'am has already done a class on how to make notes directly of ncrt and kushbu ma'am has done a timetable that will help you during your summer break so you can check these videos out into get, getting further understanding so i hope you found this video helpful because at the end of the day we want to make sure you excel at your exams and you excel as students and of course you know by those ninth and tenth has always got you covered but if you are a new student i welcome you to our channel and as you all know regularly we have classes happening from 6 pm to 9 pm for both 9th and 10th grade channels so do not forget to hit the subscribe button because by the 9th and 10th has always got you covered if you found this video helpful let me know in the comments below and if you want more such videos let me know what topic to make these videos on short insightful videos yes thank you so much everybody for staying a part of this i will see you soon but up until then everybody take care and lots of love